Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Bogart and my curatorial proposal is called Sell It To Me. And the overarching theme that I went for was advertising art. And first you'll see traditional pieces like the cover of a magazine or just a traditional coffee ad that's very dramatized and very focused on the product. And um, that's what you would expect of this type of art, advertising art. And a subset of that would be political art, which you can recognize these figures very quickly. Uh, Uncle Sam's uh, We Want You, I Want You political ad, as well as Rosie the Riveter by Norman Rockwell, where you identify with these figures and it put a face to uh, war and political movement. And also an interesting subset would be posters um, called lithographs in the museums, but as you can see, there's different ways you can use posters as a way of getting your message out through marketing. On the left, we see a very old um, 1800s ship and merchant company where it's very decorative, lots of symbols like the American flag with all the information listed and very crowded. On the right, we see more interesting 1960s, 1970s, looking poster that shows just the basic information and the goal mostly is to catch your eye when you see it with the colors and just get the point across. Straying away from traditional advertisements, we see different things like commissioned art. Uh, George O'Keefe painted this pineapple for Dole Fruit Company when they just did pineapples. They uh, sponsored a trip for her and got her to go paint for them that they could use this in advertisements. So they paid her and sent her out into the world to get advertising material for them, as well as Absolute Vodka got Keith Haring, which you might recognize some of his work. Absolute Vodka paid a lot of artists and commissioned a lot of artists for Absolute Vodka paintings that got the message out through the fame that brought artists um, with it. And on the flip side, famous artists take from advertising and put it into their work without being commissioned. One of the most famous famous examples is Andy Warhol's Campbell's Soup panels, where he just liked Campbell's Soup, ate it a lot, and decided to put it into his work. And although it may seem very bland, it still got recognition for the company, which was pretty important and pretty big deal if they didn't ask him to do it and he didn't want their money. Um, and on the flip side of that, Barbara Kruger, pretty famous feminist artist, used advertising by almost flipping the script and thinking about how advertising and the media impacts us as consumers and how she viewed it. Artists also took it upon themselves to scrutinize advertisements. The first being this on the left side, you see this ad that they stripped it of the branding. So if you look very closely, you can see them holding Coca-Cola bottles. But um, as an African-American artist, Hank Willis Thomas wanted to portray how he saw that black people being portrayed in advertisements and how stereotypes were perpetuated through that. On the right, you see Richard Prince using just photography he saw that advertisements always tended to look the same and he wanted to exploit that and almost make fun of it and make it his own. And he turned that into art, even though that was what advertising was seen traditionally. That's my curatorial proposal for Sell It To Me. Thank you.